right, well, welcome to the channel. Today on Bare Knuckle Binder, we're still working on getting this S120 ready to go to Texas. Uh, there's two or more things that I really want to do to it before I get it there, and one is having brakes on it. It doesn't have brakes. It's never had brakes. And um, the other one is I want to swap transmissions in it. Right now it has a three and three column shift. You all right? You can work for me. So, um, on the brakes on this thing, I was hoping to have functional brakes so I could put it on the trailer, but what I think is going to end up happening is I will get the handbrake for the transmission working because I'm missing some components. Uh, on top of that, there's some other problems that it's just not going to be a fast enough job to get it done for me to leave on schedule. So, um, one thing I am doing before I get this truck on the trailer uh, I believe I mentioned it before, but with these Dana 44 axles, they have spindle bushings that wear out. It's a brass bushing and it's on the spindle. And it wears out and then the drive axle on the inside uh, will start knocking against stuff and it will break. Um, I know this for a fact because it happened to the A120. Um, I can hear it and feel it knocking around in there when I'm driving this thing, the short distances that I've driven it. And so there's two things you can do. First off, you have to disengage the front wheel drive, but unless you have locking hubs, it doesn't matter because it'll still be turning whenever this wheel is turning. The drive flange that I just took off of this looks like this. Uh, so that's just the bolts that hold it to the hub, and that's the, the splines. So if you have that on the truck, no matter what, whenever you're moving the truck, the front drive axle and the differential are all moving, even if you have it disengaged from the transfer case. So the answer to that is locking hubs. Locking hubs were made uh, so that like people could drive four wheel drive vehicles on the road and you know, you won't wear out the front axle as fast and it saves on gas. So anyway, in this situation, it's gonna save my front wheel drive because it'll stop spinning whenever I move the truck. So it'll maintain that front axle until I can get in there and change the spindle bushing. So anyway, I picked up some Husky hubs. Husky hubs. From what I understand, Husky hubs were the first commercially available locking hubs that came out in the 50s. Uh, and so this thing will actually fit this truck. It's actually period specific, period correct. Vintage. It goes with the truck, you know, and I just think it's really cool and it's green. So, so I'm going to put this on there. So that means right now, unlike the other side, uh, all but one of these studs came off on the other side, but these are studs and to get them off, I have to double nut them. Did you buy all the double nutting a stud is to take one nut and put it on there and then you take another nut and then you tighten those two nuts together and that will create a grip on that stud. Like so. All right. Here is the outside nut and it's tightened onto this one. And you can see that stud moving before I take it completely out like that. I'm going to go ahead and de-nut this. Here's one stud down. This one's giving me problems. Might have to heat it. All right, so here we are with an oxyacetylene torch. This is a brazing tip. Throw in some oxygen. Hey, there it is. Now I'm not trying to burn this thing off of here. I'm just trying to get it cherry red hot. So the trick is to not set anything else on fire, not burn out any seals or melt all the grease out of your hub. You're just trying to get this one thing real hot. Oh, you little ass.
Now she's turning. That's, uh... I'm balancing the torch on my boot. It's not a recommended procedure. All right. Oh, husky hubs.